The Hatch tool in AutoCAD can be used to render your architectural drawings. However, to understand the Hatch tool completely, you need to be familiar with its options, which can be accessed through the Settings panel. As you select the Hatch tool, you can see that different options appear on the ribbon on the top. From there, you can alter the different settings, including the pattern of your swatch, properties, and boundaries, etc. You can even choose architectural patterns for your design. For example, here we will choose bricks for the pattern. Once you apply this hatch, you can set the origin from where the pattern starts. Simply go to the origin panel in the ribbon above and click on the set origin option. Now choose your point of origin on the shape. After rendering these shapes, you can see that a swatch pattern appears on alternate objects. To change how the patterns are rendered, open the hatch and gradient dialog box from the ribbon above. Click on the More Options button present below, and from there, change the Island Detection option according to your requirements. For example, in this tutorial, we will select the Outer option to render only the outmost shape in the worksheet. Now right-click on the worksheet and select the Enter option to finalize your hatch. You can even click on separate shapes to render them with the same type of pattern. For that, make separate shapes and render them together using the Hatch tool. For the Hatch tool to work, you need to apply it to a closed boundary. This is because every time you try to use the Hatch tool on such a shape, AutoCAD will give you an error. If you still want to render a shape with an open boundary, you can set the tolerance value where the distance of the gap in the shape falls under that value. To do this, open the Hatch and Gradient dialog box again and set the tolerance value according to your drawing, which in this case is 3. Now you can render this shape with an open boundary. When you click on the shape, a pop-up window will appear on the screen. Select the Continue Hatching This Area option, and you're done.